actually the day after I actually went and looked at the tornado damage. Uh, there are some clips that I use in this video that are from other people. I got permission for them. If you guys want to see more of those videos, I will have all that linked in the description. Just wanted to tell you that before uh, we started this because the tornadoes were pretty wild. Uh, it did turn out that it was a fatal tornado. We were lucky that uh, nothing real bad happened right around us. Some people, unfortunately, weren't so lucky. That's Mother Nature. She's She rules the roost. It's like, that's Iowa for you as well. It's like, it was beautiful out Friday and Saturday, Saturday evening, tornadoes. Sunday evening, six inches of snow. So yesterday in this area, we had a, a storm system come through and there's actually a pretty big tornado that touched down. Uh, the biggest tornado was up by Winterset, which is about an hour and a half from me. There was a tornado near uh, Corridon, which is pretty darn close. And then there was a tornado actually near Sheraton. It sounds like actually there was one fatality near Sheraton too. I was actually out and about. Uh, we, I was going to Corridon for dinner with uh, a neighbor of mine. And we were on the back side of the storm. We didn't see any of the funnel clouds and stuff like that. Molly did. Yeah, but that one's You're working here? I sure am. Yeah, it's past the Yeah, but that Yeah, yeah, Molly did. Yeah, Molly saw a funnel cloud yesterday uh, when she was there. So Wayne and I are going to go kind of drive the path of where I think the tornado went and uh, see what damage it was. We're going through the little town. Millerton. Uh, Millerton, yep. Uh, going under to this this is a railroad track bridge here and uh, we're coming up on highway 14 <laughs> so somewhere right around here is actually kind of the divide of where the storm uh, picked up speed from what I understand so, so we're gonna head up north uh, on the 14 towards Sheraton where there was definitely a tornado touchdown in Sheraton there's some footage of that that I'll show you guys and uh, also Red Haw State Park there in Sheridan. It sounds like it got torn up. Look at this! They're wrapping around each other. Their side of that net. Got the bree. Holy smokes! I've got two areas of rotation. Oh my gosh! Look at it. See the roof on that building? Yep. That building's damaged. That's a concrete building. You ain't damaging that. Power pole just snapped off. Snapped off at the ground. Tree limbs. Wow. It just snapped those. There ain't no, look at that. That house is, I don't even know if that's a house or what that was there. Hey, oh. a barn or something, that's gone. Two balls. Yep, the pole dancers are at work. Getting the power back up. So this is now the hill on 14 headed up into Sheraton here, which is going to cross with, uh, with 34, which you can head to Albia, or you can kind of head towards uh, Lucas and Indianola, that area. But we're going to head uh, actually towards Albia. So we're going to head east here. So now we're kind of coming up on another intersection here of Sheraton. There's the BP 
off to uh, your left hand side and then we're, this is the industrial park in Sheridan here where we'll run through. There's footage of the tornado that it basically came along the back side of the, this area right through here. You know, a good sized tornado right here, right here. See it? Let me get my camera. It's coming right towards us. As you guys are seeing it live. I'm gonna, I'm gonna move up here. So I don't get run over by it. There's two tornadoes, looks like. They're rotating around each other. Okay, we'll come up here. Right there it is. I'm trying to gauge where it's gonna go. We can be awful close to it. This thing's building. I'm getting out of here. Wow. Okay, debris. We got debris. It has hit a building or something. Right there. This is a big tornado. I see a bunch of debris kicking up. A little ways up this way, man, it wouldn't have been good because that's a church, you know, and there's industrial buildings up here and the population up there, school buses. I mean, if it would have just come this way a little bit, it would have been a mess. Missed that, so we'll run up to, uh, to Red Hall and check it out. So Red Hall is actually closed when we got up there, but this is actually where the tornado was going through right now in this video here. Uh, there was some drone footage on the internet if you guys want to see what actually happened there in Red Hall. But I do want to chat about that we used to rely on tornado sirens in rural America to be able to uh, know that a tornado was coming. But now, thanks to first responders, tornado chasers, weather services, news channels, uh, we are actually getting push notifications to our smartphones telling us where the tornado is, where it's heading, how fast it's going. Uh, and I think that helped keep a lot of people safe. We got Red Hall closed off. Jeez, look at that. Old building in the ditch there. This area is torn up. Wow. That's torn up. This must be kind of where it crossed through. Just things torn to pieces. Stuff everywhere. That's enough tornado chasing. <laughs> yeah. Wayne and I are gonna go eat some lunch, but from what I understand that they haven't classified the tornado yet, they're guessing upwards of 135 miles per hour on uh, on the winds. It was a big tornado, and uh, I'll leave you with some footage of the one from uh, the Winterset area. Ready? Let's go. See you next time. Missed the hat.
most people probably don't even know what they just missed. Yeah. 